Hey guys, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. I'm Tyler, your host, and in this video, I just want to share a quick thought that I had this morning while I was going through my bug out bag. Now, I've got a pot of coffee brewing behind the camera, so I hope that that doesn't mess with the sound too much. Anyways, the thought that I had was over the tactical setup that my bug out bag was leaning towards. Now, I don't necessarily think that every bug out bag needs to be tactically minded, but I wanted to have those options there for me in case I did find myself in a situation where I needed to defend my family as we were on the move. And so I did want to have a few things that would give me a setup that would allow me to act tactically in a bug out situation. But as I was going through my kit lately, I began to realize that the way that I had it set up really wasn't very effective and in fact would have been very detrimental to me in a few different situations. Now, I had this tactical load-bearing equipment vest in there with my bug out supplies. Not necessarily as part of my basic setup, but because I wanted to be able to throw some things on this if I wanted to wear it or give it to somebody else to wear. Now, this is just a pretty cheap load-bearing vest. It's got plate carrier slots, and I've added a couple of pouches and a shotgun scabbard and a good chunk of paracord. And this is just a basic rig to be able to put my shotgun in and strap some of the things onto that I have in my kit to be able to transition from a backpack to a vest setup. I also have a tactical Alice vest that will go over this that has a lot of pouches on it. And that would give me a lot of carrying capability to go out on a patrol or to move independently of the group and the supplies and to have the things readily available to my hands that I might need in a tactical situation. And I don't think that it's bad to have tactical options with you when you're just in a general emergency situation, but this thing was taking up a lot of space in my get home, bug out, never come home gavanche kit that I keep in my car which consists of a couple foot lockers that are locked down to the car at all times. But this was taking up a lot of space, and having weighed it, this setup right here, empty of anything else, weighs five pounds of load. And while that may be acceptable if you're carrying less supplies because you're just going on a two-day patrol and you don't expect to need to carry that much, it's not necessarily acceptable if it's in a kit that you might need to roll or carry for a long time and which may never find you needing tactical considerations if you're just going out in the woods and you're not going to be doing a lot of fighting. So five pounds and that much space that could go to other gear is a lot of waste if it's something that I'm not going to be needing. And so while I may still mull around the idea of keeping that in the vehicle with the rest of the kit, I definitely think that I'm going to be leaving it at home for now and not keeping it with me because that's going to leave me with a lot of other options and I can just throw a different backpack in there if I need to or a duffel bag and just hope that I won't find myself in any urban combat without the time to get home and get some of my more tactical considerations. Anyways. I just wanted to share a little bit of a rethinking that I've had over some of the ways that I used to do things. I'm definitely leaning towards the fact that while I may need to take care of some tactical situations, I don't want to put myself at a loss in all of the more likely situations where I might want some of the emergency, emergency supplies that could go in the place of that vest and some of the other stuff. Anyways, I hope that was some interesting thoughts and gets you thinking about how you do some of your things. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there, everyone.